My name is Zia Toffoli, and today I'm going to be your IELTS instructor. What is your name? Uh, my name is Devo. Uh, how can I call you? Will. It's my American name. What's your American name again? Will. William. William? Yeah. <laughs> okay, William. Uh, can I see your document of identification? Uh, your IELTS test has got three parts, William. Part one, I'm going to ask you some questions. Part two, I'm going to give you a topic, and I'm going to ask you to talk about it. Okay. You have one minute to prepare and two minutes to talk, to, to, to speak. And in part three, we'll further discuss the topic from part two. Do you have any questions? No, I'm ready. Okay, so let's start. Uh, William, do you work or are you a student? Well, I'm currently a student in Vietnam High School, but uh, right now uh, I'm in the middle of a summer holiday, so I couldn't. So I'm uh, <coughs> temporarily working uh, as a uh, uh, walk as a waiter at a uh, cafe uh, where uh, you can find it at anywhere. Do you like to work? Well. When free labor, like uh, my uh, mom used to say that I don't like uh, <coughs> I don't like working uh, without paying. But as it comes to money, I will do anything. I will kill myself. Um, let's talk a little bit about your friends. Are your friends mostly your age or different ages? Well, actually, my friends are. Uh, I'm 17 years old right now, and my friends uh, are mostly from uh, well, secondary school and uh, the uh, and the primary school because uh, when it comes uh, to high school, I couldn't uh, find anyone uh, to uh, fit with my vibe. So I <coughs> to fit with my vibe, so I couldn't make uh, uh, many friends. Uh, at my age or above it. Mm. Um, is it better to study or to work? Well, uh, there are many aspects of that because if you study, you will have many knowledge, uh, the experience, many no knowledge, much knowledge to uh, identify your work and uh, maybe have a very good job. But if you work instead of studying, well, you can see that you have more much experience. But you don't read books, you don't have the, the knowledge uh, <coughs> of the uh, of the things that teacher will teach you. Um, what subjects do you study in school? Well, I'm studying many things at school, but uh, my main subjects are chemistry, biology. Math, literature, and uh, right now, uh, <coughs> which, uh, math is my favorite one. Do you prefer to study alone or with other people? Well, when I study uh, with my friends, uh, for example, well, I find myself quite uh, distracted because that <coughs> I'm a talkative person. So that I, when I stick with a friend uh, of mine. Uh, I usually talk a lot and don't pay too attention to what I'm doing or what I'm uh, reading. So that I would, uh, <coughs> I would uh, prefer to study alone because it will give me more uh, focus. What is the best thing about your job? Well, uh, except from uh, from uh, <coughs> working uh, uh, six hours a day and I have to wake up. At uh, 6 a.m. every morning, uh, I find myself quite uh, <coughs> into this job because that of the tea. Uh, many, many people, many rich people, uh, when I uh, drink ice cream, they drink ice cream too, so they really offer me a big tea. Okay, now I want, let's move to part two. I want you to describe something that made you laugh. Okay, laugh. 
Describe a funny situation that made you laugh. You should say when the situation happened, what happened, and how you reacted when this funny situation happened. Okay? You have got one minute to prepare and two minutes to speak. Your time starts now. Why is the question? Thank you. Something that made you laugh. A situation, not a person. Is not coming. Find out, please. You have five, four, three, two, one. Can I start talking now? So uh, yesterday, when I was watching uh, YouTube, I'm mm -hmm. uh, I found watching YouTube about a game that I play. I accidentally pushed on a video that are uh, produced by Stephen Hay, which is a which is a Asian YouTuber, and uh, the topic of the video is how <coughs> how Asian parents get uh, how Asian parents get their kid emotional damage. So that when I click into it, I watch it for. The first half minute is nothing happened. It's just the uh, uh, production and the uh, and introducing of uh, him. When I watched the content, and I couldn't help myself laughing because uh, I found it quite amusing that uh, about <coughs> about uh, the um, Stephen Hay parents, Stephen Hay parents, which they are, which. Are Asian treat him like uh, a failure, so that I laugh out loud every every moment of that, and I click on uh, some other videos of him, and I find it quite, quite actually fantastic and uh, interesting. <coughs> so I uh, show it to my brother, and they we all laugh that you. And the thing is, if I were a, an Asian parents like that, I would treat my kids like that with less, uh, <coughs> less challenging because I, I know that my kids will cry. Okay, now let's keep on talking about pleasure and things that make you laugh. What types of pleasure activities are popular in Vietnam? Your country? Well, there are actually many, uh, uh, many things that, uh, is, uh, including basketball or maybe hanging out with friends. But I found out the most, uh, the most, <coughs> the most major activities, the most major activity that my friends are currently taking up is uh, playing billiard, which is a uh, fantastic sport. Um, why is it important for people to have time for the activities? Because, uh, like most people, when they came back from work, from a study, they would find themselves quite exhausted and stressed. And from that, they will need to find a hobby or a leisure activity to uh, de stress themselves out like playing the guitar or reading books or maybe just uh, hang out for a walk with friends. Do you think that leisure activities are only good when you laugh? Uh, can you ask me? Do you think that leisure activities are only good when you laugh? <laughs> wow. Oh. Uh, 
some leisure activities like um, uh, I don't know uh, strengthening myself or or watching uh, aging parents or playing games uh, quite amusing and I have very funny so I find the leisure activity only uh, I think that it's only uh, <coughs> important and uh, uh, positive for the people because that it uh, gives the people the happiness um, Are the types of leisure activities that are popular today the same ones that were popular when your parents were young? Well, many things have changed. Many things have changed. Technology developments, uh, the urban modernization, and actually, leisure activity has taken up the notch. When I asked my parents about leisure activities uh, in the past, they I find that quite surprising. Really surprising because that my parents in the past just hanging out for work or maybe just. Uh, I don't know, uh, have a play with kites, with the kites in the countryside, mm -hmm. and that, <coughs> and uh, I rode horse, riding horse were very popular, was very popular at that time. And in the, in nowadays, the, I don't know, leisure activities, there are so many to develop, so many to discover, like uh, playing billiards or playing golf, for instance. Uh, I don't know, uh, taking picture, photographing. Uh, some people would consider nowadays. Some people would consider uh, leisure activities as their job, as their part of life to make money, to earn for their living. Okay, this is the end of your speaking test. <laughs>